And welcome back to the Erk One Masters, where previously we were. Uh, we just completed that first uh, little job for the Starbase Commander, and we're in the process of outfitting our um, starship. And we've run out of money, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to sell off the iron bolt gun because there is no chance in hell I am going to be taking the flagship Normandy into battle anytime soon. So there's no reason to have a gun. Uh, cause, yeah, it's just not battle capable at the moment. Um, so, uh, let's add, let's add one more storage bay, which will come in handy. And the other thing we should do is, um, get some turning, oh shit, I just took it off. Alright, get some turning jets so that we can actually maneuver our vehicle a little bit better. Um, but I need to save some money for getting crew, so, and I don't know how much crew costs these days. Yeah, so you add to the fleet, uh, and just press the up button to do it. Alright, excellent, so we've got enough money. I may get another turning jet, uh, because now I can afford it. Actually... Yeah, and to add a cruiser. So, yeah, I can't afford another cruiser. I won't worry about that. Um, uh, modules. I might... I, I'm tempted to get another lander, just in case. If I lose one out in the field, I don't want to have to haul ass all the way back here to get a new one. So let's do that. Um, I'm very much poor now. Is that so now I can? Uh, I'll just put my volume up. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, let's let's see what background information he's got for us. Um, I'd like your input on how we can defeat the Oakland. Uh. Where can I find the most useful, plentiful resources? I would recommend you spend several months or even a year gathering mineral resources. You can find such minerals on almost any planet's surface, but the quality and density will vary depending upon the type of planet you're on. Okay, Space cool. These metals are probably the most common materials you'll yeah. find, but they aren't particularly valuable. You can find rarer precious and radioactive elements on metal-rich worlds such as Mercury. Yeah, I Your know that. once told me that you could tell the relative quality of a planet's minerals based on the planet's color as seen Oh, really? Space. Okay. Remember the color sequence from good to bad? The miner had a mnemonic that went something like, Very young orangutans, orangutans could, could grow, grow bananas, bananas perhaps rather well. well. Very young orangutans could grow... I, I, I don't know. Stars temperature is related to the size and color of the star. Red stars are the coolest, then orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay. And the hottest stars are white. Yeah. Is it is that good? Oh. Um How should I deal with the aliens that I made in space? Doesn't it, Captain? Well, in all seriousness, if you encounter the ill rat, Vux, Anderson, or hierarchy battle thralls, battle thralls, I wouldn't hold out much hope for a peaceful encounter. Yeah. So okay. You have the advantage attack. All right. The resources you will scavenge from the enemy's wreckage are well worth Oh, okay. The sure. If you can find alliance races who are in a position to help us, then you must convince them to join with All us. All right. Their assistance may be crucial to our success. Okay, if you're in... Okay. Never mind. So let's... What uh, can I tell you? Uh, yeah, let's... Let's, let's get out of here. We've got all the info we need. Um, so he recommends going out and, uh, and mining for, for months on, it, on end, so, um, that's probably what we're going to be doing. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we have really little to no recourse, <laughs> otherwise, like, because, um, it's just really hard to get around and do anything useful without resource units so let's check out all the planets in the solar system first off and uh, try and uh, see if we can get some more minerals okay there's a few here not heaps and it's a very very hot planet and there's lots of lightning 
Um, I might avoid that because we can't deal with level 8 lightning <laughs> here. Um, let alone lowering the temperature. And, you know, there wasn't that much to be found on that planet. So, um, uh, in a way, it's a matter of picking your battles when, when it comes to sending the lander down because you don't want to be um, destroying any. Because when, like, when you get hit, you're actually losing crew. And every time... Oh, shit. Missed Mars. Um, and losing crew and a lander is just not... Uh, it's not something that we can take. Um, so it's important to make sure you look at the scan information and know what you're getting into, basically. Okay, so Mars has some useful resources and it's not too um, threatening. Uh, so let's just grab all this stuff. Uh, it's all just common metals, but you know, every little bit counts. We really want, um, grey is the most basic sort of colour. Planet surface does wrap around, so like if you see something on the left here, you just drive on over and you'll find yourself on the other side. <laughs> um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of this, so as I said before, um, in future I'll probably be, in fact, probably starting from today, um, I'm probably going to start pausing when I send my lander down unless it's a special mission um, and yeah because like you don't want to be watching me doing this all day I would make the the LP series very very long and tedious it's fun to do not so fun to watch <laughs> what's after Mars um, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter? Is this Jupiter? Yes, it is. Oh, and there are moons. That's cool. Uh, so, I'm just going to pause the video when we see this. Uh, purple planet's not very good, but uh, yeah. So, I'm going to pause, and when I get back, we'll leave the Jupiter area. So, what's my pause button? Okay, so we've gathered all the minerals from the moons of Jupiter. I just want to check out Jupiter. Um, obviously, it's a gas giant. You can't actually land on gas giants, turns out. Um, but if we were, there'd be lots of storms and, yeah, bad. So, off we go. We managed to fill up one of our cargo bays. And, yeah, it got some nice uh, stuff. Um... So, we're on our way. Our next destination is, of course, Saturn. And after Saturn, we'll... Uh, I think Saturn is also a gas giant, so there's just this one moon. Um, and, yeah, just a few uh, metals. Um, common elements. But after this, I'll head back and cash in my... Oh! Direct hit by a storm. Don't like that. Oh, let's just get that one there. Arium. Um, you can't. You have to be careful. Like the last dot you pick up. Like if if your lander's cargo bay on the right down bottom, the red line there, it starts filling up. Um, it is possible. They're, they're, the, the dots get quite large, and if you have an almost full lander and you try and pick up um, something that would take you over, over full, um, you're going to waste a lot of those resources. Like, you can waste like 20 resources by only picking up one of it, and the dot goes away. So, yeah. So, Saturn is a gas trap. Um. Yeah, so let's head back. Uh, maybe uh, we've caught a signal or something. And um, but I really want to get some jets, uh, thrusters.
for my Normandy because I'm feeling very slow and vulnerable. And if I can, no, I don't know. I kind of want a fuel pod as well because we're going to run out of fuel. But when I dock, I'll just dock here and then cut the video and see you next time on Let's Play the Urquan Masters.